Now we are working new developments on an Eyewitness News exclusive. A man caught on camera keying cars at a Warwick dealership. Investigators say the suspect is the owner of an auto body shop and the damage is going to cost thousands of dollars to repair. Eyewitness News reporter Steve Nielsen joins us now live in our newsroom with more. I spoke again with police and uncovered the accusations against Anthony Lombardi are greater than we thought. Eyewitness News broke the story. Surveillance footage of a man police say is king dealership cars. But now we're told there's more than what the video shows. The footage is taken here. This is Stevie D's, a car dealership in Warwick. Stephen Davis is the owner. You never know. You just can't trust anybody. Now for the last few years, his company has sent damaged cars to Airport Auto Body to get them repaired. Police tell us the man in the video is 72-year-old Tony Lombardi, who owns that body shop, meaning it's good business for Lombardi when Stevie D's has damaged cars. This is a gentleman or a guy that we were working with that we thought was uh, working with us to help us in business and he was actually working to hurt us. Police say this video shows Lombardi pull into the dealership. They say the man in the video checks inside and then walks along two cars, dragging his key along the way. Another $600 fix. Davis showed us damaged cars in his lot. The video only shows two cars getting keyed, but a police report alleges he damaged five cars. Davis says the repairs could cost $7,500. Lombardi was arrested Friday night and charged with vandalism. I've tried hard to get in touch with Lombardi today, but I talked to several family members or people who identify themselves as family members and they were never able to get me in touch with him. Lombardi's due back in court later this month. In the newsroom, Steve Nielsen, Eyewitness News.